Hello and welcome back to Football Tactics and Glory and Manchester's journey to the Premier League. My name is Rio, and in the last episode, we came away with a lucky 1-0 victory over Little Rock. It was certainly not one of our better games. However, today, we really need to be on top of our game because we have two crucial ones here. The first one being the, the most important, and that is the second leg in the Liberty Cup. Now we won the first leg 2-1, to one, but that was a home game, so we need to make sure we can compete with them for this game as well. Now the setup is still very exploitable for us. We just need to keep them away from scoring, and we've got a good chance here. But they will start with the ball, and we have to work out ways to combat them here. Now, they've got a pretty strong team here, and we have a very, very tired defensive midfielder here. It's going to be a bit challenging, I'd say, to to get this. And I'm thinking Roman is not going to be starting this game. As important as he is, Thacker is our better chance of getting getting goals. And I want to shore up our defense. So I'm going to give McCready a chance, and if need be, we'll substitute him in or out, depending. <clears throat> Now this is a two game episode, so we're going to be taking on Bismarck and then we're going to be taking on Tampa, who are tied with us on points and goal differential in the second league. So that's another important game, but this is the must, must either draw or win. We really don't want to lose this game, unless we lose it by a certain Part. And yeah, Bowers is already tired, but he does manage to intercept the first pass. But Reeves gets the press off, and Hightower is coming back for this. And he does get it. So Bowers is going to be playing for a little while here. We'll see if he can do enough here. And hopefully my mouse isn't doing the thing that it did before. But it might be. So, we've got Greer as an option here. Greer gets it. And he's going to try the rainbow feint. Gets it by Bryant. Now, could do the rainbow feint again against Crosby, or could go for the shot. I think we're going for another rainbow feint. And Greer is right on goal here. Now, we could do the Rainbow Feint again. I think Power Shot makes more sense, because we've got a better chance of getting it back. Ah, and no, Dupree saves it right in front. And down comes Crosby for this. Crosby does the lofted pass, trying to get it to Willett. That doesn't work out. And Peterson's also pretty tired at this point. And down comes Hemphill for it. So we've got... Unfortunately, a bit of a sticky situation here. But we are going to at least get a press off with Peterson. And I guess Bowers will move down further. He's getting a little more action than I would like at this point. Willett moves down. Now, can he get an extra action here. He goes for the shot! That is not what I expected to happen there. Now Doss is gonna try and get it to Peterson. That doesn't quite work out. So Peterson gets the ball and Peterson is gonna try and successfully gets it by Holbrook. But with Crosby and Dupree there, yep. Yeah. Taken away by Dupree, they move slightly out. And Peterson's already tired. We came into this game with a very tired team and not a lot of depth. And now Kraft is running up the sideline. But not all the way up. We 
with Thacker there. We're going to take a chance, and Thacker does manage to get this off the slide tackle. And he's going to try and get it to do to Hemphill. That didn't work, but Hemphill will get it in front of goal. And Hemphill can't get it by Dupree. He easily takes the save. Pass goes to Crosby. Crosby moves off to the side. Is he going to hold this? That he is. Which gives Thacker a chance to take it. Or not quite. Uh, a chance to press for it to give Hemphill a chance to take it, which he does. And now Crosby's the only one there, but they're going with Todd instead with his level 3 slide tackle, and that indeed works out for them. The lofted pass doesn't work out there, and now Todd's in a bit of a sticky situation. We're going to be able to get a press off with Thacker to give Hemphill a good chance to take it. Hemphill takes it. They don't have a center defender to do anything here. So Hemphill moves in. Can he put the shot away? No, he can't. And it's not going out of bounds. We're not getting lucky on the bounces off the saves. But this time, we get... We get a penalty shot. Hemphill, with his motivated situation, was able to give us a chance here. And we are going upper right corner. And it's put away! Manchester takes a 1-0 lead. That's an away goal. That's big. That is big for us. And gets by Bowers. We're we're at the point where Bowers needs to come out. He is way too tired to be effective. Escamilla goes for the shot, kicked away by Thornton to McCready. But McCready loses it immediately afterwards. Childress takes this, and we're probably just going to make sure. It's not near us once halftime happens. And that is the case. We have a 1-0 lead so far. We're looking to go to the finals of the Liberty Cup. Hatfield has come in. We will start with the ball in the second half as we try and put this game away. And Thacker. It's up to... It's up to Thacker and Hemphill to give us something. And it's saved out of bounds by Dupree. Now, Peterson's the one with the best passing here. So, Peterson's going to be doing that. Greer distracting in the back. Hemphill in front. And we'll try and get, get across in. And they're leaving... Okay, they did bring Kraft down, which is the smart move on their part. But it's not enough! Hemphill puts it away with another goal. Well, not, not necessarily another goal. We, the first goal was... Oh, the first goal was Hemphill. I thought it was Thornton. Since Thornton has usually been our go-to when it comes to this. And Reeves... Loses the ball, but Todd... Oh, they're not even going for it with Todd. There. We'll have to pass or passing through. We're going to try the pass through. That does work. So Thacker is going to have a chance to give us a 3 nothing lead. And if we do that, we're going to take... We're going to take uh, Peterson out as well. Give Osborne a chance to play there. Beautiful job. 3 nothing. 
Bismarck has lost control of this game, and it looks like we will be heading to the finals. Thornton takes the ball from Escamisha, who did get by McCready. And the pass will start over with Osborne. He's the better passer among the two we have here. And the pass knocked away from Hemphill to Greer here. And Greer could go for Rainbow Faint. And that's what he's going to do. Rainbow Faint has really been working for him today. Really? Absolutely great job by Greer thus far. But he's going to try and finish with the power shot, which is saved out to Holbrook. Not sure why... He, oh, the press. They, they were already factoring the press when he got the ball. That's why the minus on the stats. And the aerial battle is won by Escamilla. So he's going to get a good shot off here, but it's saved by Hodges. Tries to get it to Osborne. That doesn't work out. Osborne moves back. And Osborne will try and pass it to Hemphill. Goes right in front of goal instead. Holbrook comes down. Could we get a fourth goal here? With them holding right there, it's definitely a possibility. We can get a press off with Greer to give Hemphill... A chance to take it, and Hemphill takes it right in front of goal. Hemphill is also going to be coming out, simply because he's getting really tired. He's done a lot today already, so Jin will be coming in as our final substitution, possibly after Hemphill scores another here. Nope, that is saved out towards there. We have only had one shot that actually went out of bounds off the goalkeeper. So Dupree is doing a good job keeping it in front of him. He's just not so great when it comes to corners. Or not corners, crosses, I should say. Hatfield tries to take this. That doesn't work out. So instead we're going to bring Thacker back so he can at least get the press off. And tries to get it by Hatfield. That's not working out. But Kraft can go for the tackle. Instead, though, they're bringing Todd down. Smart move. Will Todd go for the shot here? Yes, he will. Kicked away by Childress. And I guess it's still Childress going for this. And he's going to try and loft it over to Thacker. That doesn't work out. So Hatfield takes it. But there's only... Six actions left. They're down three to nothing. Todd is going to probably take this easily. But they now they're down to two actions left. I just don't see a path for them. And Hatfield has done a very good job coming in to help out. But that is it. Manchester is headed to the Liberty Cup Finals. Off a, off a three-goal game by Hemphill. An amazing effort there. Lots of experience for the team. We are really happy to see that. Greer actually got uh, the second man of the match there. Bit surprising. I would have thought Thacker would have gotten something. Hemphill added some more accuracy. Peterson, some more passing. Thornton, good across the board. Some more passing and defense for Novak. I like all of what I saw there. No upgrades today. We're still getting there. Getting close with Hemphill. If he might upgrade in the next couple of games. Uh, Hatfield is also getting pretty close, and he's going to get a chance to do there. But yeah, 51,000 money. And we will be taking on Jacksonville. Now, that's not exactly who I wanted to face in there, because we really struggled with Jacksonville last time. In, in the regular season. We'll be taking them on in the finals. 
which will be the final game of the entire season. But we're getting close. We've got Tampa, Honolulu, Bismarck again, and then Jacksonville. So we'll be taking on Tampa next here. And we'll see if we can pull out a victory while we are very, very tired. And Roman will be coming in for this one. We'll get some chances on Randolph here. Bowers, he can he can do something, but this is this is gonna be a rough one. Now Hatfield is coming in for that, and with with no defending midfielder, Thacker will be in for Peterson. We do need to keep Hemphill in just to have a chance at scoring. But otherwise, yeah, we've got, I'm good with McCready in his current position. So we will be trying to pull out another victory so we can move past Tampa in the standings because, well, a draw won't do it because we're tied on both points and goals. Burkett gets it by Hatfield to Stubbs here. Stubbs dribbles past McCready and keeps it from Thornton. In fact, should have done this before, but Doss should be on the other side. So Stubbs is going to get a chance, and it's not getting by Childress. I'm, I'm really happy with Childress's development through there. His defense has gotten so good. With Burkett there, we're putting Hatfield up since he's the one with the better control. And the slide tackle does not work out, but they could bring... They're bringing up Hitchcock to try and take this. And Hitchcock can't get it. And down goes Hemp Hill. So we... If I move Roman down past... No, that's, that's not going to work. If I move Hatfield down one, though, he's going to be able to get it to Hemphill right in front of goal. That's what we're looking for. And it's saved out of bounds. We have a corner. And we have Roman back, so he can do his role again. And Hemphill hopefully can get his thing done. McMillan is helping out in front. Do they have anyone? Yeah, they don't have anyone really good at defending head play here. And Greer actually kept the back post. And despite despite what I just said, William beat Hemphill on, on the aerial battle there. And down comes Burkett with his slide tackle. Oh, forgot that Hemphill is already tired. Yeah, we, our offense might struggle today. And Hemphill moves down. So this is going to be Thacker who's going to have a chance to take it, and he doesn't manage it. Nothing happening for him. And Thacker doesn't even get a press off. But Hatfield heads that on, that one away from Blankenship. But Blankenship comes back for it. And is just going to hold this. And Hatfield can't take it, unfortunately. So Thacker moves down. And Thacker moves over. I know he's not going to get off the automatic press, but... At least having another person in the area makes sense. Now, Blankenship goes, tries to get it to Schreiber, and that doesn't work out. But they were going, they were trying to get that long pass in. So to defend against that, Childress is moving out. And Hatfield takes it away from Schreiber. Schreiber gets the press off, and Carnes is coming all the way back here for it. 
and manages to take it away. Hatfield is motivated and manages to take this. He's going to move down and he's just going to try and get it to Greer. That doesn't work out. Maze takes it instead. Maze does get it to Blankenship. Blankenship passes to Julian and Julian can't get it by Novak. Doss takes it. Doss passes to Hatfield. And Hatfield passes to Hemphill to end the first half. Not much happening. We had we had a good chance on the on the corner, and Hemphill just lost the battle. I guess he's still he's still tired from the previous game. He really did a lot for us in that last game. And now we're gonna ask him. We're we're just asking him to give us one, one chance here. And it's saved by Randolph. Randolph is showing he's got some skills here. Carnes moves down. Randolph tries to get it to Schreiber, and that doesn't work out. Thacker will pass to to Greer, I guess. That's about the best I can do here. And they moved Blankenship in to try and get this, but that didn't work out for them. That's surprising. Greer moves down and could go for the shot. Instead, he's just going to hold this one and try and use the control to get by. Burkett is coming down, though. But he can't take it. Greer keeps it. But he gets it the second time. The motivated movement helps. And Burkett has a pretty good position, I'd say, here. We're gonna at least give Hatfield a chance to take it here, and he doesn't manage it. And down goes Carnes. I'm assuming they're going Schreiber here. And that's e exactly what's happening. Schreiber gets it by Novak. Carnes on goal. And Carnes puts it away. Tampa takes a 1 0 lead. We still have the chance here, but we need we need Hemp Hill to finish. And finally, finally Hemp Hill puts it in the back of the net. We even it up just as quickly. 1-1. They do get it to Stubbs here. And Stubbs passes to Carnes. Now, is Karns going to go for the shot? Yes, he is. Intercepted by Novak. And headed away by Julian. Couldn't quite get it over him. Doss takes it. And he's going to try and get it to Greer. The stubs back there. They might go Schreiber again here. Yep, Schreiber has it. And gets it by Novak again. And Stubbs on goal. Puts it away. A 2-1 effort so far from Tampa. We're just, we're really struggling to, to keep them off the board. And our only, our only offense is this. And Roman, finally one of them didn't, didn't get on target. William manages to get by Greer. Was it the smoothest one, but he did manage it. 
Hatfield manages to take it. And he's going to pass to Hemphill, who's still very, very tired. And they're just going to take it with Burkett. Only two actions left. It looks like Tampa is going to come away with a victory in this one. We just couldn't generate generate the offense we needed, and our defense couldn't hold up against the long pass. Tampa takes the victory, and this might take us out of glory position, depending on how Jacksonville did. So we got a level up for Greer. Good job there. And Hatfield does indeed get an upgrade. 30% experience, two attribute and focus. We're gonna go 30% experience. He's young, he can really develop here. We got 21 fans, not too much there. Now, Jacksonville did tie Topeka, so they did not quite get past us here. But they are only a single point behind. Now, Bismarck beat Little Rock, Oklahoma City beat Madison, Sacramento beat Anchorage, Albuquerque beat San Jose, and Memphis beat Honolulu. So, the rest of the standings don't really change much. But we have basically run out of time to get a promotion position. We'd need to have won that game to still be in the running. But we do have two more games left, and then the big one the finals against Jacksonville. And both of our next two games are very winnable. Honolulu, we can beat Honolulu. And Bismarck, we just showed we could beat Bismarck twice. Uh, they are not going to... They're gonna still have Barrientos by the time things start up here. But I'm looking forward to, to that matchup, but we've still got a little ways to go. And before we do that, we're going to be upgrading our stadium. And now for our upcoming games, the ones against Honolulu and Bismarck, we are going to have home ones. And now this one's listed as a home game, but I don't think we're actually going to play at home. I think we're playing at a neutral site. But we're going to make some money off of the last two games as we finish up this season in, in Manchester football and look forward to the next season in the second league where we're likely to be losing Topeka at the very least, gaining Birmingham and Newark and maybe Des Moines or Concord, and Nashville, Milwaukee, and San Antonio from the first league, and we can start discussing how things will go next season. So I hope you enjoyed this episode with its, its very good game and not so great game. And I hope you join me next time as we try and finish up the regular season strong, strong and manage to hopefully give a good showing in the final of the Liberty Cup. Give the video a like if you did, comment below any thoughts, subscribe to keep following Manchester's journey, and I hope to see you all next time. Have a great day, and happy gaming.